here. So we are super pumped to show you guys our completed van. So we're gonna give you guys a van tour in this video and we're gonna show you how everything works, what everything does, why we did this, why we did that. <laughs> Absolutely everything. So everything, come on in. Come on, let's go. of the van we have built this fully insulated partition wall with storage up the top and storage down below. We have this cute little wooden arch door here which enables egress and access from the front driving cab to the main area. So this was a good safety feature for us because if we ever have to take off in an emergency or we feel unsafe we can just walk through here and then drive away. So now we're up to the shower bit, which I'm gonna get Max to talk you through. Hey guys, so welcome to our full-size shower inside our van. Now, when we built this van, we really wanted to have a shower. Being able to have a hot shower whilst free camping or being on the road really elevates being on the road to the next level. So we've gone with a bit of a bold statement and we've chosen these dark waterproof wall panels here. They really sort of, make it like a feature wall when looking into the van from outside. Um, another feature of the shower is this Karoma Lunar Brushed Brass Multi-Functional Shower Rail. <laughs> this is amazing. It's really, really contrast from the, from the black. Um, it's a really nice color. It's also got an ergonomic paddle style uh, mixer, so you don't have to be turning two, two knobs at once. You can just operate hot and cold with one hand. This also goes up and down, so depending on your height, um, you can also have it down real low if you want to wash your feet and not your, your hair or your, your upper body. Uh, another super light. So this is actually rubber and the, uh, the head is made out of like a high grade plastic. So for ventilation, because Emily loves her super hot showers, we've installed uh, a vent and it's 12 volt and you can, it's got two options. You can have it with the light on and the fan or you can just have the light off and the fan just running itself. Um, and also if, you know, would it, that's not enough ventilation, we've also got a max air fan here so we can have both of them running at the same time. If it's super cold, we've got to have really hot showers. All that hot air getting out. <laughs> also in the shower, we've installed this recessed shower niche and it's got porcelain mosaic tiles at the back here. And it just really adds to, you know, the shower, being a real modern, real stylish sort of look. Um, it also acts as a function. Um, you can keep all your shampoos, conditioners, soaps real close. You don't have to be bending down. It also adds valuable space. It's got a 12 volt waterproof LED light here at the top, which is really cool. And also adds as a little feature as well. So yeah, we're really loving the niche. Loving the niche. That was my idea, by the way. <laughs> Also, the shower base is made out of stainless steel, so it's super durable, doesn't rust, and we've added a teak shower mat here that fits inside the shower. So when you want to dry yourself, you can just dry yourself in the shower. You don't have to step outside, make the floor wet, and looks cool, and doesn't mold, uh, and yeah, slip resistant. So now, you're probably wondering what this hatch door is. That actually houses our nature's head toilet so we've got a composting toilet and it's waterproof hatch that we made and basically you just open it up pull your toilet out here on these heavy duty runners so they're rated for 140 kilos and pretty easy if you want to go to the toilet that's it do your stuff have a bit of a party <laughs> <laughs> open, my favorite seat in the whole van and then, yeah, we've got your toilet papers access at the back there. And then when you want to have a shower, just fold that away. That locks in nice and tight, rubber sealed, and then good to go. For all our cooking needs, we have the Fetford K1520 combination cooker. So it comes with a stove top where we have three gas hobs and a uh, electric. We have a grill here. And we have a big oven space. 
so I will be busy in the kitchen. <laughs> For our fridge, we have a Thetford T1090 80 litre compressor fridge, which has tons of room and also comes with a small freezer. So perfect for us. On this side of the kitchen, we have 11 sliding drawers. So they are all installed with sliders. And while we drive, they're kept closed with RV Labs latches, the white ones here, which complement our drawers so well. And my favourite drawer would have to be this one. It is for all my dry food, spices, and you've got your containers. So that is my favourite. And Max's is this one over here. So my two favourite drawers in the van, and these two are actually designed by M. She's done a really good job, but they're charging stations. We've got a 12-volt charging station and a 240-volt charging station. This drawer here, <laughs> so this is all your 12-volt stuff. So we've got camera batteries, other camera batteries, we've got drone controller, lights, you name it. We've got headlamps that need to be charged. So that all gets charged in this drawer here. And then below we have laptops, drones, anything else that requires 240 volt charge. One, two, three, four, five, six here, but we've got USB and USB type C. And we've also got a further two USB ports there and over here we'll show you after and then there's a couple more over there so if you can't charge anything in this van there's something wrong for this side of the kitchen we have our massive 550 millimeter brushed copper ABI sink Huge. and yeah you very big it's our bathtub <laughs> and matching faucet and also we've got matching uh, soap holder and our accents like our you know uh, door handles and our little kitchen knife here but yeah. We have done an undermount sink, so it makes it super easy to clean. We just simply wipe off any crumbs. Yep. And also the cutout that we have here, we kept yep. and we turned it into a sink cover yep. slash chopping board yep. and extra bench space. So when we're driving, we can hide all our dishes that we just can't be bothered <laughs> doing. With this faucet, we have hot water and cold water, and we've also installed an inline filter for our cold water, which makes the cold water drinkable straight away. We've, uh, we've got um, Kit Kat porcelain matte white tiles so with nice. a cream uh, grout on both sides of our kitchen, which helps to give it a, uh, a just a modern look and it's not too much. We wanted something that was nice and soft. So Definitely on trend. It, it, it helps to match the rest of the interior. The bench tops are made out of an oak hardwood uh, and they've We've put a varnish on there, food grade varnish, so it's got a bit of a satin look to it. Uh, and then our cabinets, we custom built all our cabinets ourselves, including the carcasses. And we've gone for like a minimalistic European style flush mounted uh, lower cabinets. Um, just want to keep it real simple, nice clean lines, have it real modern, you know, not too many frames and face frames and everything else going on. Just keep it simple, keep it nice. We've got RV Labs latches here and we've gone for white and we just think that that just matches so well with our front faces. And the good thing about the RV Labs latches is they close, they, la they lock when you're, when you're driving. So, and they look real modern. So massive shout out to them guys, they're amazing. Um, also, we've gone for lightweight ply. This is 12 mil and it's got a melamine front and back face. And the melamine is really handy because one, it looks really good, two, it is easily cleaned, and three, we didn't have to paint them. So that was a bonus <laughs> as well. <laughs> Upper cabinets, same again, really minimalistic style. We, you can see no hardware on the outside, um, just push to open. And yeah, you push on gas struts, they open up it's and tough. you don't have to hold them. We've got 12 all up. Um, on some Euro style hinges. So in here, we've got a motorized ball valve on our gray water tank. We can access that from inside here. We've got the water pump switch, and then we've got our Enerdrive inverter, and then this is our Truma hot water and heater uh, control panel. So we can access that as well, all from in there. We wanted to keep it sort of in the cupboard. Um, you know, we didn't want a thousand things on the walls, like all these different LED lights, all these numbers going on. We just kept one panel and that's the Simarine display there. And that is our state of charge of our battery, how full our water tanks are, the time, the date, and yeah, just like real clean, real nice. 
Uh, it's like a gorilla glass finish, uh, matte black. So that's the only thing in terms. The yeah, the only thing that we wanted to have on the wall. The rest we wanted hidden. Um, but now the Truma. So we've got for our hot water system and also our heater. We've got a Truma Combi D6. Now it runs on diesel, which is a bonus, and it uses like minimal diesel, like drops of diesel. Um, and that's kept in this cupboard here, nice and tucked away. Um, and then, like I said before, you can control the uh, the unit here. And all you gotta do is just set your desired temperature for the heater and for the hot water system. There's a couple of modes. You've got eco mode or boost mode, and it takes about roughly half an hour for the hot water to heat up. But once it's heated up and that's on, you've just got instantaneous hot water. It just stays hot, which is really, really good. Um, what else have we got here? For the oh, also for the heater. So it's ducted. There's four ducting um, vents in the in the unit. So we've ducted uh, four vents throughout the van. There's one right below Emily's feet. We've got another vent just here. And then we've got one at the very front behind our arch door. And then there's another vent just here below our fridge. We got this from my generator. They're amazing. Uh, go on their website. They've got so much camping, caravan, uh, camper van stuff on there. So if you're thinking about getting anything from my generator, that's over 300 bucks, just type in Escape 20 and you'll get a $20 discount. So go get your stuff from my generator. They are really good. Okay, let's talk lighting in the van. So we have five separate light circuits in the van and we have roof lights, behind the overhead cabinet lights, runway lights, strip lights, LED puck lights. First of all, this is our main switch panel for our lighting and we've got our upper switch here and that turns on our warm LED strip lights above both of our overhead cabinets. And then we have this middle one here, and that's the middle middle uh, run of our puck lights. So they're our down lights. And then we have our bottom one here, and we've just installed LED strip lights, runway lights below our lower cabinets. And that runs through here. And then also we've got some at the entry step, we've got two puck lights that are also operated on that switch. So also to operate this side, say you want to like come here and you just want to like use the coffee machine, but you don't want nothing else lit up. We've got a simple switch here and that will turn on these one, two, three, four lights here. So that lights up this bench top here and that's operated on that nice switch there. And when you turn the switch on, it goes blue. So you know it's on. And then if you want to work over here or wash the dishes or whatever, you've got some nice light here. Uh, really good too, because with these lights, it sort of casts a shadow and you can't see as well. So having this like nice bright light really at night time really lights up the space. And then we've got another circuit and that's just for the dinette sleeping area here. And then that's just operated in the corner. So we've lined the ceiling with these lightweight pine slats and it really gives the, the roof a unique visual look. Keep the warm tones, yeah, give the roof a little bit of color. If it was, um, wide, if it was it white, it would have been too white. So yeah, we've gone for that Scandinavian look. <laughs> <laughs> so above our bed, we've installed a Dometic Midi Hecky Skylight. Now it's 700 mil by 500 mil, and it just adds so much uh, natural, light. natural light into the van, especially in this area where we're gonna be seated during the day. And then at nighttime, we can even see the stars. Um, and it comes with a full blackout and then you've got like insects only but you can still see outside and then you can open it up, let air in and yeah, it's just really, really nice. There's two lights too. A, a, oh a yeah, a... yeah. So we've got that there, warm light and then you've got like your disco <laughs> <laughs> blue, blue light if you want to, you know, hit the <laughs> D floor. Looking. So yeah, that's our skylight. We love that. Stargazing. Stargazing. <laughs> so we always get asked, where is your bed? Now, this is our multifunctional space. It is our bed. It is our eating area. It is our office space. It is our chill out area. It's pretty much everything. It was really important for us to have a, a workspace that was large and we didn't feel crammed. So we sacrificed the fixed bed 
but I will show you how this space works. This is our dining table and this actually comes down into this space forming the platform for our bed. Yep. So because this space is so big, we've seen, thanks Lewis Van. They showed us shout a, out to you guys. Shout, yep, they've showed us a way to make this big cutout uh, bit here <laughs> smaller. Yeah. So we can. This is actually the size of our table yep. that goes into this area here by having this drop leaf. Uh, otherwise, we would always have a table this big, which and we don't want. Flush hinges. So I'll show you how we make the bed now. From here, I can simply slot the table in to where it needs to go. That first one's in, this second one goes in there, and then we've got our flat surface. We pull down our cushions, so the lounge bit forms, and then you'll notice that we've got a little strip here, and this is where our fifth piece will come in handy and we've made it super super tight so that we won't be slipping around <laughs> at night and look I fit all the way <laughs> so we will be sleeping this way because we're only short people but if you were longer you could you know if Max wants to fully stretch out he can just lay on an angle yeah so Fine. So this essentially is our bed and look at that we can stargaze through the skylight this is our dining bed space without the table as you can see you still have plenty of room i think comfortably we could sit five people which is nice because if we're sitting somewhere and the doors are open everyone can just lounge, lounge around and we've also built these usbs here which sit perfectly just above the cushions so on both sides, on both sides yep so we can you know charge our Phones. So guys, you won't have flat phones when you're hanging out with us, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so also in this space, we have installed two side windows on either side, and it's great for, you know, just being able to look outside while we're sitting here, while we're eating. Um, they're really uh, good too, because on the outside, they've got like pimp tint, and you can't see in, um, but we can see out, which is great. And um, yeah, they're just like a simple latch lever and then you've got the um, insect screen on here as well. You can let some air in. Let some air in, a bit of ventilation. Um, yeah, super handy. And we've also just built these little ledges here, which uh, go real nice. They add to the uh, other pine uh, parts of the van. And Look you really can cool. Rest mugs and things. Can like that. Yeah, yeah you can. You can. You can rest your phone on there. You can rest all sorts of stuff on there. Chocolate bar, whatever you want. <laughs> Um, but now let's move on to our electrical system and our electrical system is housed right under this bench seat right here So let's show you Prepare guys yourself. So under this bench seat here is what powers this piece of a van and we have the electrical system uh, This is all from Enerdrive. Shout out to the guys at Enerdrive. You've done an amazing job So this is the KAGM board I and it is mounted to the side here and pre-built by Enerdrive by their electrical team. Um, we know that it's been done, you know, properly and it's been done in a safe manner. It's got fuse protection. They've got circuit breakers already all built in for us. So we didn't need to worry about that. Basically, we just had to uh, just run all our 12 volt stuff to this, um, to this board, which was, you know, relatively easy. Um, the board just looks absolutely amazing. So tidy. So tidy. Um, all the you know all the cables are stored neatly. It's not like a big big rat's nest mm -hmm. of just cables and stuff everywhere. But we've got our solar charge controller. We've got our DC to DC charger. Basically, what this thing does is it charges our batteries from our battery under the bonnet. So we've got our starter battery, and and when it's running. Uh, off the alternator that will charge our lithium batteries. Also, there's two other ways that we can charge our batteries uh, through our solar um, array on the roof, and then that goes through this MPPT TriStar solar charge controller. Um, and then the third way is through mains power or shore power. We can just plug in with a 15 amp lead and we can charge our batteries that way. 
Um, we've also got our uh, AC charger there. That's our 12 volt, 60 amp AC charger. We've got our 2000 watt inverter. So that's just so we can run all our appliances like our coffee machine, our uh, blender, um, charge our laptops, everything like that. Anything that requires 240 volt, we use our inverter for. Um, and then we've got two 200 amp hour BTEC lithium batteries. So a total of 400 amp hours of lithium battery storage. Now BTEC stands for Bluetooth technology. So we can monitor the state of charge of the batteries off our phones through the app which is really, really handy because you don't want to be lifting up this cupboard all the time when you want to see how charged your batteries are. But another way that we can monitor our batteries and other things is through our Symarine display, which we have mounted here on our wall. And that just gives us state of charge of our batteries and it can also give us some other information like um, uh, electrical cabinet, how hot our electrical cabinet is, um, how full, our grey water is, our full, our fresh water is. With the van, the only thing we didn't do was the 240 volt uh, stuff. So the GPOs and all the 240 volt stuff here, we had to get a uh, electrical um, tradesman to do that and they signed it off and they gave us this here. It's a caravan insulation test certificate, which you have to have. And also our gas, um, was done by gas fitter. So they're the only two things we didn't do. Everything else we did ourselves. And we've also got some ventilation here because this does get quite warm. So we've got two vents here and then also another two vents here just to get that uh, airflow going and so this electrical cabinet doesn't get too hot. We've got 650 watts of solar on the roof. We've got three 180 um, watt panels and two 55 watt panels all from Enerdrive. We've also got some fold out solar panels also from Enerdrive and they just plug into our Anderson plug under the van and they're 240 watts. Now in Australia uh, we get some pretty extreme temperatures. It either gets super hot, I'm talking like almost 50 degrees, or it gets freezing cold. So we took that into consideration when we were building the van and we decided to go with a company, Australian company called Car Builders. Shout out to them guys. Um, we got their long wheelbase uh, van pack and that comes with sound deadening seal. van seal and van liner and all the little tools, rollers and everything comes in the pack. Really, really, really good. Um, and we rate their products highly, so good. So first of all, we did a butyl base rubber mat and that was a sound deadening. And we did about 60 to 70% of all the panels and also the, uh, the roof. When this was a bare shell, it was like very tinny. Uh, you could hear like everything. Like if you, if you banged on the side of the van, it was just like a, an empty Milo tin. So we did the um, sound deadening first and then we used the um, 10 millimeter foam and that was the van liner. And then finally, we used a van seal. So that's a four millimeter reflective on both sides uh, foam as well. And we just cocooned like the roof and all the walls of the van. And the van seal also acts as a vapor or moisture barrier. So you don't get no condensation buildup. And in the summertime, it just keeps that, it reflects the heat away. So you don't get heat buildup in the van. And in the winter time, uh, obviously when it's nice and cozy in here, none of the heat can escape. So, so, so pumped with um, the insulation of this van and all the car builders products. So we've put down a vinyl plank floor here um, and also up on that little step there. And it's waterproof, uh, we love the color. We put that down with hard set glue. We put that down ourselves. And yeah, it's got a nice feel to it on your feet. These are our Max Air fans. So we've got two and that helps for ventilation. So they're the ones that come with the remote and we've got our remotes here. So basically this one here, um, the air comes in and the other one there, the air comes out. So this sucks the air in and that pushes the air out. So what that does, it creates constant ventilation and air circulation in the van. So that helps with like, you know, mold buildup and just 
just getting that fresh it's such a small space and like smell build ups and just odors like can tend to build up real easy in the van also they're the only fan on the market that can be that can run whilst it's raining and when it rains um, that's when you get most of the condensation and the moisture build up anyway so because it's got the rain hood you can run them when it's humid or when it's raining outside and you're just getting that yeah that ventilation our oven runs on gas in Australia, you have to have your gas bottle accessed only from the outside. So we've got a fiberglass gas compartment here with our LP gas. So it's lockable too. So all we'll do is we would open it up. We have our gas bottle inside here, mounted nice and snug. And then we just turn our gas on there, like so. And then we'll just go and we're able to use our cooktop, yeah, or our oven or our grill. Uh, it's all on gas. I'll talk about our uh, fresh water and how we fill it up. So this is our fill up point here. It's a lockable uh, fill up point, so no one can access our tank or our fresh water and try to poison us or whatever. <laughs> so we fill up there and then underneath here, you can see the frame, aluminum frame for our fresh water tank. Now we've had to design the frame ourselves. It's a 110 litre tank and the frame is made out of aluminium and it's just um, supported by hangers and then the bottom of the frame is checker plate just so when we're driving it won't damage our fresh water tank hopefully that will deflect like all the rocks and uh, anything that flies under the van to protect it so yeah aluminium nice and light um, and strong and we also designed it so if you want to take the tank down and like do a service on it or empty it out or whatever like we've just can unbolt it real easy and it will drop down so that's our fresh water tank and then our gray water tank is in between the two wheels down under there um, but that's 70 liter uh, gray water tank so oh, another thing while we're here this is the trimmer so this is the cow so the exhaust fumes they uh, disperse out of here the other side is the awning side and the side where you have the door. So this is the side that no one really is on. So you can't be breathing in, uh, inhaling any of those fumes and nothing like that. We're, if we are to be outside the van, it's either at the back or the other side. So that's a good thing. That's why we, we put it there. Um, another cool thing that we've got with this van is this dual wheel. So it means it can just carry, you know, it's got a higher gross vehicle mass. Um, and it's good for like stability too, because this has got so much stuff in it now, it is quite heavy. So we really wanted to find a way that we could connect the inside area with the outside area. So what we've done is we've made this fold out table here, which enables us to use this as a extra sitting area outside. You know, you can work on here, coffee, have people around here, bar, absolutely anything we want. And this table also folds out as some extra storage. So we can keep all our, you know, outdoor things like um, it's got our, our cooker, a rug, and it's also got our fold out, fold out solar panels. So that comes in handy. We've also got a little outdoor shower here. So it's just cold water, but it's perfect for if we want to just, you know, rinse off our feet if they're sandy. So this is another one of my favorite spaces. I'll come join you. Yeah. Whoa. Just need some extra deck chairs and <laughs> yeah, you can pull up to a beach and. So this is actually rated for 250 kilos. So I weigh almost a hundred and I can sit on it as well. So yeah, super strong. Cool thing that we've got on the outside here is we've got an outdoor shower. There you go. Can well, wash my feet. Wet people walking by. Yeah. <laughs> Our van is inspired by coastline Scandinavian design. We focus on functionality, simplicity, and minimalism. So when entering the van, we didn't want it to feel overwhelming. We wanted it to feel inviting, homely, relaxing. Um, we wanted it to feel like you know, not like a typical motorhome or, or caravan, because they all look the same. We want it to feel more like a small apartment or like a tiny home. Yeah. Our van relies, as you probably noticed, 
on a lot of natural light and we've gone for a light color palette focusing on our creams, beiges, uh, brushed copper and light wood tones. So we didn't, when we were building the van, we didn't want it to overfill the space mm. because it's such a small space. We wanted, you know, everything to be, we created lots of storage, we wanted everything to be tucked away nice and neatly. Um, we didn't want it to feel too overwhelming and yeah. sometimes less is more. Definitely. Um, and that was a hard decision because, you know, sometimes you just want to like put shelves <laughs> everywhere and put things and books and plants and this and that everywhere. And sometimes it's just a little bit too chaotic yeah. and too much. It's like finding a balance between too much and too little. Exactly, yeah. And we feel like we've achieved that with this. Yeah, event. yeah, yeah, for sure. So also another um, thing we planned when we designed the space was we put the shower and the fridge right in the corner. Um, we felt that was the best spot for it because it's sort of like out of the way and then it just opens up the living space a lot more and it creates like a lot more room. If we were to have the shower in the middle of the van or we were to block off like one of the bench tops, it would have constricted that space and it wouldn't have felt as open. Mm. And also with our colour palette too, um, you know, whites and neutrals always work with such a small space. It always makes the space look bigger if you go lighter. Um, Especially and, living in it full time. Yeah, you know? exactly, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, that, the number one thing we wanted was when we come into our van after like a day of shooting or after a hike or something like that, we just wanted to feel relaxing, relaxed, you know, homely, as if we're at and home. comfortable. Yeah, for sure, definitely. So that comes That's to it. the end of the van yeah. tour, guys. <laughs> uh, we hope we've covered everything. I think we've covered everything. Um, we really hope you enjoyed uh, the process if you've been following along since the start. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's, it's been a taken while. a while, but, but we got there in the end. Yeah, we're so proud with everything Our we've done, especially yeah. not being van builders. No, like we're, <laughs> this is the first van we've ever built and by no means we are not professionals at all. Uh, we had to learn everything. Every Probably like more of our time was spent on researching how to do things, not only how to do things, but how to do things right. So we, that's another reason why we spent a lot of time. Uh, we wanted to do it properly, we wanted to do it right, we wanted to do it safely. But yeah, we're so pumped to take this on the road and uh, we hope that you guys will follow along our, on our adventures. We're going to be creating heaps of content in this van. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. Yeah, excited to get the van. Let us know out. in the comments like what your favourite features are or like if you've got any questions. Yeah. We want to hear like your thoughts and what you what you think of it. And yeah, let us know. See you on Bill 2, eh? <laughs> <laughs> See ya.